This video is about how to make a vacuum. First, I want to talk a bit about airlocks. This video is not about airlocks, but when you're making a vacuum, you need to be able to get your dupes in and out of it. Uh, for that, you'll probably want an airlock. I'm going to start out by just making a simple airlock. This one is, I would call it a water lock. I'll use this uh, bottle emptier in order to fill it with water. The idea is to have enough water in the water lock that gases can't move through it. All right, that's pretty sufficient for a water lock. So if you had a room of some kind over here, like this, then gases in this room can't get out into the gases out here, and the gases out here can't get into the gases in this room. So if this room is a vacuum, it's safe, and your dupes can still get in and out. There's lots of ways to do an airlock, but this is a fairly simple one, and this video isn't really about how to do an airlock. This method is the most obvious way to make a vacuum. I'm just going to build a room, and in the room I'll put a gas pump and connect that to power. For a room this size, it may take, I'm going to guess, uh, about a cycle to pump it out. And when it's done, you'll have a vacuum. It's helpful to note that a very small room will vacuum up much quicker. So if you can do the vacuuming in, for a very small area and then finish the rest of the vacuum using some other method, it's often faster. This method can be convenient, but it also uses a fairly large amount of power. Uh, running a pump for a full cycle in, say, an early base can be a very expensive thing. The vacuum is complete, and it took about one cycle. This way of making a vacuum is probably my favorite kind. I'm just going to build a block of tiles that's the size and shape of a room that I want to make a vacuum. Alright, now that's done, so just hollow it out. And that's it, the vacuum is done. For this method, we can do basically the same thing as we did before, Let's, but uh, you know, for a feature on your map where you can't build tiles. Let's suppose it's still covered up. I happen to know that this one is a steam vent, um, but let's say you haven't revealed it yet. It's the exact same thing. You can just build in a whole bunch of tiles, All right, and when it's in, just hollow it out. So if you're into planning ahead and you, you like to put the features on your map in a vacuum, this is a pretty good way to go. In this particular case, you'd probably want to use petroleum in the airlock instead of water because the steam is hot and it will make the water turn into steam and break your airlock. That's it. You now have a feature in a vacuum. Uh, for this method, let's say you have a feature on your map and you've dug out a little bit of the blocks that are covering it so that you can see what it is. You can't build, build a tile in this location on the map because the, the feature is in the way. It won't let you. So you have to vacuum out that area. It's easiest to do this if you keep the area that the, the pump has to vacuum very small. So I'll put a gas pipe in and a vent and power. And we'll just close this off so that the pump doesn't have a lot, of, a lot to do because this is a small area. There's very little gas in it. And we can let that run until it's a vacuum. Meanwhile, we can finish building the tiles that we want out here in order to connect our airlock to the vacuumed space. And when it's done, just hollow it out. 
we don't need the gas pump anymore. You can continue building the room that you want to be a vacuum from the outside. Hollow out the inside. And your feature is in a vacuum. Uh, again, you probably wouldn't want water in this airlock because the steam is hot and the heat will eventually turn your water into steam and break the airlock. This method shows you how to build a vacuum without using an airlock. You can kind of build a room from the outside if you reach through the cracks in a diagonal wall. The first thing I'm going to do is put the plumbing in. I have, I have a bit in already. Uh, so I'll have the pipe go into the aqua tuner, out of the aqua tuner, into my warm hydrogen to cool it down, and then into my steam turbine room to cool it down. I should probably not be doing this in instant build mode so that you can watch the dupes to do the building. Um, the other thing that I need is wiring for the devices that I eventually build. That is the aqua tuner and the steam turbine. I have some automation that I want to put in as well. I'm going to have a liquid pipe thermo sensor right there. And I want to connect that to a filter gate. And I want to connect the filter gate to my aqua tuner. I know this all seems a little confusing at the moment because none of these devices exist yet. You can only build the things that can coexist in the same tile with a tile at this point. That includes the filter gate, which I'll put right there. It's time to start building the room that is going to be a vacuum. I'll put the these tiles in, and I need them to be four high. I have the four in, and I have the right wall in. And then I'm going to start building everything a diagonal at a time. The first diagonal is only one t one tile, but it's a diagonal that starts up here and goes down here. Now that's in, I can put it in the next diagonal, the outer diagonal. Um, I just realized I need a little bit more plumbing because I need a vent that comes down from my steam turbine. Um, so once the outer diagonal is in, you can unbuild the inner diagonal. And once that's gone, you can put in the next outer diagonal. Once that's in, you can take out the inner diagonal. And you'll start to see where this is going. The tiles inside here have nothing in them. They're a vacuum. Uh, once that diagonal is out, you can put them in the next outer diagonal. And take out the inner diagonal. Now at this point I want to start building some of the things that are going to go inside the steam room. There's a liquid vent that has to go right there. Now you'll see that it says that your dupes can't reach it, but they'll be able to reach it if they can get the right angle on it going to, to build through the crack in the wall. In order to do that, I'm going to build a couple of ladders here so that they can stand on the ladders and reach through. There we go. Once that's done, you don't need the ladders anymore, and you can build the next outer diagonal. Unbuild the inner diagonal, and I can build some more stuff that's supposed to go inside the steam room. A aqua tuner, for example, and a liquid pipe thermo sensor to control the aqua tuner. You can see my automation lines up with something that makes more sense now. The dupes can't reach these either. They need to be able to get the right angle to build them through the cracks, so I'm going to build ladders for that. Once that's done, you can unbuild the ladders and start building your next diagonal. And once that diagonal's in, you can unbuild the inner diagonal. I'm going to put a ladder on the side so my dupes will be able to reach the top of that room. I'm ready to start putting in the other stuff that I need, uh, the steam turbine, and I'll put a wall around the steam turbine. Make sure my plumbing came out right. Okay, now I have a source of water over here set up so that we can add water to the steam turbine room just by putting it into this pipe. I'm going to use the sandbox. And I'll just wait until I have as much water as I want in the, in the steam room. Okay, that's good. And I'll use the same water input to fill up the cooling loop for the aqua tuner. Um, I should have set up this uh, the thermo sensor. The loop for my aqua tuner is full, so I don't need this water input anymore. This setup is finished now. You'll see that this is a vacuum in here and there's only water, so it'll be only steam when it's when it's done. I guess I will just let that run until we can see the steam turbine working. The water is turning into steam now.
All right, there we go. The device is running. Uh, there's nothing in this room but steam, just as we intended. I think that's the basics for how to make a vacuum. There's definitely other ways to do it in the game. For example, you could use something very cold to liquefy all the gases in a room and then have your dupes go in and pick up the solids or mop up the liquids, and you'll have a vacuum. But, of course, that requires such sophisticated setups to make happen that it doesn't seem like it's really worth the trouble. I just liquefied all the... Well, I turned all the oxygen in this room into ice and now I can have my dupes just go in there and pick up all the oxygen and I'll have a vacuum. I can't think of any reason that this kind of setup would ever be necessary, but there's certainly people out there with some creative ideas, so maybe it's worth knowing.